everything we talk about from here on should be a review of what you've already had in Science 9 and some in Science 10. So the first person we're going to talk about is Gregor Mendel, and he was an Austri Austrian monk who lived in the mid-1800s, and he worked with peas all the time to discover the principles of heredity. And he came up with four basic laws of inheritance. The law of dominance, the law of segregation, the law of independent assortment, and the law of unit characters. Genes are the simplest unit of inheritance. A gene influences certain traits in living things. Um, genes are why we have the eye color or the hair color that we do. And then a collection of similar genetic makeup of plants or animals is referred to as a genotype. So a genotype is actually what the genes look like. Genes are carried in the chromosomes of gametes, and gametes are the sex cells. Genes are passed from parent to offspring through the process of meiosis and mitosis during sexual reproduction. The genetic transfer of traits from parents to offspring is called heredity or inheritance. And we're back to the word genotype. And genotype is the genetic makeup of living things. Individual organisms of the same genotype breed alike. So that would be a German shepherd bred with a German shepherd produces a German shepherd. Phenotype is actually what the animal looks like. It's the observed characteristics of an individual organism without reference to its genetic makeup. We don't talk about anything other than the cow is black, the cow has horns. Individuals of the same phenotype look alike, but they may not breed alike. And sometimes we breed a black cow to a black cow and we get a red offspring. Heredity is affected by genes because each characteristic or trait has two genes. One comes from each parent. If both genes for a characteristic are the same, the animal is homozygous for that characteristic, which means they're the same, homo, same. If the two genes differ for a given characteristic, the animals are heterozygous. And so if we look here, if we breed a dominant trait with a recessive trait, a dominant is the big D and the recessive is the little d, um, this law of dominance that Mendel came up with states that one pair may exert its influence over another. A dominant gene overrides the other gene and is, invis and is visible in the organism's physical characteristics. That's what we see, and it's often referred to as a dominant characteristic. Recessive is the other gene partner of heterozygous, and it will not be seen in the phenotype. It is still there, we just don't see it. When crossed with another animal containing the same recessive trait, some offspring may show the recessive characteristic. So when we get ready to do these problems that you're gonna do, each gene is signified by a letter, each gene is paired with another, one gene comes from each parent. If the letter is capital, it's dominant, and if it's not capital, it's recessive. So let's look at Herefords. Polled means they don't have any horns and it's a dominant trait, and we're gonna represent that with a capital P. If the parent is homozygous for the genetic traits of pole, we're big P, big P. If, the, if it's heterozygous for polled, it's big P, little p. We set up a Punnett square, and we put these letters in each one, okay? And then we cross, and our question's gonna be what percent of offspring will be polled? And the answer to that is it's going to be 100% for that example. So if we have heterozygous parents, which is big P, little p, notice we put a big P in one and a little p in the other for each one, and we go ahead and we get ready to cross that. When we get done, our answers go in those inside blank boxes. And our question for this one is going to be, what percent chance of the offspring being polled? And when you look at this, the first one's big P, big P. That's a polled animal. The second and third one is big P, little p. Those are polled animals. And the last one is little p, little p. That is going to be a horned animal. Hopefully that's enough information to get you started on your assignment.